Hello grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We are doing inequalities and we're going to solve them in this lesson number two. Today we're going to just do addition and subtraction first. We'll do multiplication and division next and add and do them both uh, in the lesson after that. But uh, it's important that we uh, know the rules for addition and subtraction and multiplication and division as it can be just slightly different. So let's do some problems. These are easy for you, I am happy for you, but if not, that is all right too. Our first question is minus six less than or equal to eight minus k. And remember that solving is isolating for our variable. And what we're going to do is treat our inequality sign a lot like an equal sign for these problems. For addition and subtraction, we treat it pretty much just like an equal sign. Uh, we want to get k all by itself, so we're going to move the positive 8 over, and that means it becomes a negative 8 on the other side. So negative 8 minus 6, that's minus 14, and that's less than or equal to minus k. I don't like having a negative k, I can't have that. So I'm going to flip all of my signs over. Since they're all negative, they all become positive. So this is 14 is equal to, sorry, is less than or equal to k. And then my last step is to flip it around so that k is on the left side. That's what I always like. So we always want to have the big side facing k. So it changes into k is greater than or equal to 14. Okay, so although it's only a one step problem, there are a few steps in writing the answer uh, in a way that is understandable for everybody. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. Minus 17 plus n is less than minus 16. We're gonna be solving for n, we wanna get n all by itself. So we just have to take this plus 17, or sorry, minus 17 and go to the other side with it and add it to the other side. Minus 16 plus 17, that's one. So we're just left with n is less than one. There's no equal sign here. There's no flipping it around. Our variable's already on the left. It's positive, everything is good. n is less than one in this case. Let's do a couple more. We have minus eight plus b is less than 10. We're going to get v all by itself. So we move the eight over. v is less than 10 plus eight, right? It goes to positive on the other side, so that's 18. v is less than 18. Let's do a couple more. Minus 20. It's greater than or equal to minus four minus x. We want to get the x all by itself, so we're gonna move the minus four across the inequality sign, it becomes positive four. So that's minus 16 is greater than or equal to minus x. I don't like my negatives, so I can get rid of them just by changing all the signs. x, uh, sorry, let's rewrite that. Uh, 16 is greater than or equal to x. And now we're going to flip it over so that x is on the left. x is less than or equal to 16. Okay, we make sure that we always have the uh, smaller sign pointing towards the x. And yes, we have a or equal to sign in the question. All right, we got two more to do. Two more to do. We got 10 plus m is less than 16. We want to get m all by itself, so I'm going to take the 10 and move it over. It's going to be minus 10 on this side. 16 minus 10 is 6. m is less than 6. And our last one. v plus a negative 5 is less than or equal to negative 14. Okay, this is just subtracting. Adding a negative is subtracting. So I'm going to move this whole thing over to the other side, that's just adding it to the other side. So v is less than or equal to 14 plus 5 is minus 9. If you have questions, please let me know. But nothing is really changing except for we're writing a inequality instead of an equal sign. We are still isolating for that variable. Things will change a little bit in the next lesson. But thank you very much for watching, everybody. Ask lots of questions, and I'll see you soon.